today, Caitlin is going to do some more manual transmission driving, but this time it's going to be in this car rather than in Stefan's car. I don't know if I've ever been in this seat. You've never been in your own path? Well, yeah, that makes sense. It's weird getting into a manual transmission car because, like, everything else about cars, you sort of just forget. Like, you even forget how to turn it on. Mm -hmm. Like, do I put my... Do I put my foot on the brake and then turn it on? Do I just turn it on? Do well, I have to put, do I have first, to push in the clutch? Because we ran into this problem yesterday, you should check your mirrors and make sure that they're all situated so that you can your see. These are not as bad as Stephen's well, are. You gotta push the clutch all the way in. Clutch in. And then turn the key. The clutch isn't all the way in. You have to go like all the way down to the piece. Gotta be gentle that? with the uh, gas pedal. Your gas? I'm not like even doing anything. Real gentle. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Push clutch in. Turn on. Okay. See, when I come to a complete stop like that, do I need to go back into first gear? Yeah, probably. Um, it's from a complete stop. First gear is the gear designed to get the car moving again. It's not really designed to do anything other than get the car moving. And once it's moving, you can pretty much immediately go into second gear. When it starts doing that, that means that the RPMs are dipping too low and you're getting close to stalling. Does this car make you more or less nervous than Stefan's? Um, I don't know. I, I feel less nervous, but I don't know if that's because uh, this is the second day that I've drove, so I just feel more comfortable in general. It shifts smoother. Did your leg feel sore after yesterday? Mm -mm. My legs are already buff. Still a little shaky getting out of first, but I feel better doing it in your car than in Stefan's car. I also feel more comfortable now that I'm actually like in a residential area and there's things that I have to interact with like stop signs and other cars so I know more of what I need to do when things come up. When you were first learning how to drive stick, did your foot, like did your leg feel sore afterwards? Yeah, my left leg was always sore and shaky. Just remember to put this in neutral before you pull the clutch up. Otherwise, like, push the clutch down, and then just pull your foot off the clutch. Oh, stall. Yeah. How was it? Uh, I feel better today. I also think I feel better in your car, which is weird because I thought I was going to feel worse in your car. I thought it was going to be, like, more bulky and hard to... I don't know. I was worried about seeing out of the windshield, first of all. And I was also worried about it just being more difficult to shift because for some reason, in my mind, a bigger car means more difficult to shift. But yeah. I, I think, think Stefan's was more sensitive and I didn't like that. Stefan's car is tuned to be very zippy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not tuned to be a comfortable ride. No. And I think this car is tuned to be more comfortable. He has the Fiesta ST, which is like the super sporty edition of the mm -hmm. Fiesta. If he had a regular Fiesta, I would guess that it would be more similar to this driving experience because yeah. that's tuned for everyday driving. Whereas if you were in a Mustang GT500 right now, um, that isn't tuned for comfort. That's just tuned to go f***ing fast. <laughs> into the cell. It puts the potassium ions, it pumps into the cell. It pumps Apparently there's a lost little dog outside our door. It scared me. Hi doggy. Hi. Where is your owner? He's looking at me sideways. What are you supposed to do when you find a stray dog? I don't know. I've never experienced me this before. Me neither. Hey, doggy. 
Why is your eyeball all red? What are you doing with your leg? Why are you doing that? What is happening? So weird. I don't know how long it's been, 20 minutes-ish? And we haven't been able to get the dog to come in where it's warm. He just wants to stay outside where it's like negative million degrees. I even got some food out for him. The kitties are watching. Come on, doggy. He let me pet him for a couple seconds, but then when I tried to move him, he bit at me. The cats are getting more adventurous. And now the dog's in the house. <laughs> Hi. Welcome. It's nice and warm in here, huh? But where's your actual house? The cats are still curious. He's still doing that sort of convulsy thing. Yeah. I don't know if that means he's scared or what. Claire's got the magic touch. <laughs> she made the dog feel all right. Oh. Where did you come from? Where did you go? I don't know the next line. Something <laughs> cotton eye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know how to give kisses, huh? <laughs> yeah. Cats are the best. <laughs> how did you find the dog? I just walked up the stairs and it was like hanging out on the landing. And at first I thought it was one of the cats because there's a couple of cats that are wandering around all the time. It surprised me. His eyes I look a little cloudy. Yeah, that's, blind. I think so. That makes it harder to get home, huh? <laughs> I wonder if he's part pit. Kind of looks... Mm. Part pig? Pit. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's A dog-pig hybrid? <laughs> <laughs> You can see how cloudy his eyes look. Yeah. I know what it's like. You got that glaucoma. <laughs> his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> He's down there. Here we go. You just give kisses. Okay. You definitely belong to someone. Huh? <laughs> Come on, puppy. Let's go. <laughs> what the hell is happening? All this dog stuff is really fun, but at some point I do have to finish Crash Course. Claire, what do we do? I don't know. What do we do with his dog? He's part of the family now. <laughs> <laughs> you should probably just ask around tomorrow, because... But what do we do until tomorrow? Oh, we all go to sleep. And do what with the dog? Let the dog sleep with us. <laughs> <laughs> what if he poops all over? I don't know. I mean, he's pretty... I think he's pretty old. So either that doesn't sound better. <laughs> I was gonna say either he's like he's totally kidding. house trained and he'll be fine, or he's like senile and he's gonna poop everywhere. Guess I'll just go finish crash course now. <laughs>